Either Christians have the inspired, preserved, authoritative Word of God, or we don't. Those are the only two possibilities. If we have the inspired, preserved, authoritative Word of God, Islam is false, because Islam contradicts what we have. If we don't have the inspired, preserved, authoritative Word of God, Islam is false, because the Quran affirms the inspiration, preservation, and authority of our book. Assalamu alaikum, my good friends. What do you think of this contradiction? The Quran says that it came to confirm the previous books. And then, at another place, it says that those previous books have been tampered with and they were interpolated. So, doesn't this throw up a contradiction? I mean, the anti Muslim uh, activists like David Wood, they use this, um, you know, to the fullest extent in their videos. And they often state that, yes, your book says that it came to confirm the previous books. And then uh, it also says that those books were tampered with. So that's a contradiction. But um, let me clarify it for you. And let me take one example of such a verse. That is verse, uh, chapter 6, verse 92. And this is the translation of Yusuf Ali that says, وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكٌ مُصَدِّقُ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْ Just that first part. And this is a book which we have sent down, bringing blessings and confirming the revelations which came before it. If we look at the <clears throat> uh, very, very um, famous or uh, uh, commonly used dictionaries, then we can find that the word Saddaqa Bilisan, for example, says that it is, he, he verified it or he confirmed it. But that is Saddaqa Bilisanihi in the past tense. The way that the Quran uses it is Musaddiqun. Musaddiqun is more similar to, in English, a present continuous tense. So it is something that is in the process of being done. So the Quran, when the Quran describes itself as having, as being musaddiqun, it means it has the function, it, has the, it is a tool, it has the ongoing function of verifying and of confirming. Not that it has confirmed, because that would make it the past tense, saddaqa. Uh, you know, but it is here used as musaddiqun, which is a very, very important distinction. So this this verse should have read, and this is a book which we have sent on bringing blessings and as a means of confirming the revelations before it. Now I've even done a different translation here, which I want to show you, and it says, we reveal this book as a benefit in itself and as a means of verification of books before it. You see, musaddiqun is much rather or much better translated as a means of verification of books before it. In fact, the Quran at other places calls itself the Furqan. Now, the Furqan means it's a criterion, it's a control. The, the idea of verification, we use that term in the education field. And you know where I use that word is I use it when it comes to when we are controlling or we are checking the portfolios of evidence, right? The POI. Now, a portfolio of evidence, if you're a student or if you're a, you're a teacher or, an, or, an, or a lecturer, you might know this term. Portfolios of evidence are the joint or the combined set of assignments, tests, essays that a, a student submits in order to verify or to prove that they have acquired the knowledge of that particular program, right? And that they are worthy of being allo or being given a pass mark on that particular program right so what we do is we verify what what verification means is we look at the evidence and we we recognize the evidence that is valid and we identify the evidence that is invalid and that is what an educational verifier does authenticate it right i verify it i confirm that which is right and confirm that it is, which is wrong which clearly illustrates which is very very similar to what the quran does this hadha kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun musaddiqul ladhi bayna yaday it is serves as a means of verification of books before it and we compare any other claimant to truth 
to this master copy and that is really what we mean by and that eliminates the contradiction quran does not just simply confirm it serves as a means of confirming those previous scriptures